Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Stormworks. In this tutorial, I'm going to help you build your first microcontroller. Now, if you don't know what a microcontroller is, it can be a little scary. When I started out the game, I thought, I am not touching microcontrollers at all. It's just a whole lot of digital gibberish, and I have no idea how to do it. Turns out, it is really not that hard. And if you can build the logic sequences, like the one that we built in episode 3 here for the clutch, with an on signal, an off signal, or sorry, an on number, an off number, uh, and what to switch to, then you can also build a microcontroller. Now why would you want to? Because you got these lines for the clutch, and it works perfectly well. So why the hell would you want to do that? Well the beauty of it is, microcontrollers can be a lot smaller than the ones that you're using here. Keep in mind that this is a small boat. What would happen if you have a boat that is about six times this size? You'd have a lot of logic running around the place. You'd have a lot of different wiring. And a lot of that in the logic viewer can be very confusing. Right now, it is very limited what I have. But you can have a ton more stuff. So that's why you can have a microcontroller to at least have a few less wires there. So what I'm going to do is go into the microcontroller editor. And what I'm going to do is make a microcontroller that takes over the function of this particular block here, or these blocks rather. So it's the switch box. That means it has an on signal or an on number, an off number, and a toggle. That's about it. It also has an output. This is the one that we have. So it needs to have a number. It needs to have an output and it needs to have an input. That's basically all that we're doing. Let's go. If you go to the microcontroller, then this is what you see. You see first a schematic, and you can draw logic nodes to reposition them. To do that, we first need to have actual nodes. And for your, um, to doing that, you just go to logic, and then you have this plus signal where you can add a node. Now what we have in this microcontroller is just an on-off, and I need a number, and I need it to be an output. So this is the part where I tell the clutch to be either on or off, and this is the part where the clutch or the uh, output signal from the microcontroller goes to the clutch. Now this is where they say, hey, some nodes are overlapping, and now you can drag the logic nodes. So it doesn't matter which one you drag where, but I'm going to just drag it to the side, and to make it easier to place down in a vehicle, I am going to uh, make it a little smaller. And you can see that right now, if we were to place it down, it would be just two blocks versus the four blocks that we normally have for a switch gate plus the other two. So you save a little bit of wiring there. All right, if you have your logic nodes set, then you can either uh, write a description or you can go immediately to logic. I'm gonna write a short description. This is an input and the game will allow you to do that since it's one of those bigger circles. This is where I want my uh, signal from clutch toggle to go. And this, the output, is very easy to write down. It's output to clutch. That's all that we're going to do. Now, we're not quite done yet because now we're going to go into the actual logic. The game immediately throws all of these nodes that you have on top of each other. Now this is the switch from the clutch toggle, so this is the input. Then we have um, the, the output. And this is the one that we need to have processed. So, in order to do that we're going to add a switch box. This is the one that we normally use. And it is really, really simple, because the way that we normally would do it is we'd have the switch box with the 1 and the 0, the external two constant on signals, or the uh, constant numbers that we gave it. And then we have the output, which goes to the clutch. What you do is put the numerical switch box somewhere down the middle. The signal from the clutch toggle, you connect that from here to the switch box. Now we have the output going to the clutch, and you connect the switched value as a means to connecting to the clutch. Now we just have two more circles. First value meaning if it's on, 
So if I had actually send it an on signal and I want to send power to the engine. And the other one is off. So if I'm not using it, I don't want the engine to receive power. So I want the clutch to act as a breaker switch. We're going to add two numbers. Those are these, the constant number. One and another one. Now both of these are currently set to zero. That's fine. First I'm going to hook them up. Now I want the on value to be one. So you just click on it, you say output value is one. And this is all that you need to do to set up your clutch. You have your constant number one, if it is switched on, it's going to output the number one. If it is switched off, it's going to output the number zero, which means clutch do not send power to the engine. And then we're going to output this stuff to the clutch. That is all. Now you can, if you want to, give this thing a symbol and you do that by dragging. So I can make this a, um, I don't know, a C or something like that. And it is not quite indicated here, but if you have a uh, misclick, you can just click a button or a grid again and it deletes that highlighted part. So I can say this is the clutch or I can even go with CL, something like that. And I now know that this is going to be the clutch. All right, we're going to save that. Clutch tutorial. And then you leave the editor, just back to the vehicle editor. Now I'm going to delete my clutch logic, the one that I had over there. And again, this is what we just built. Constant number on, constant number off. This one goes to the clutch, and this one is the switch signal. Delete that. Now you go into your inventory. You scroll way down until you get to the microcontrollers. This is the one that we just built, this microcontroller. Unfortunately, I don't quite have a name for it yet. So let's fix that right now. Let's switch to clutch tutorial and not name it microcontroller, but clutch switch. Save it over the one that we already saved it as. There we go. Now, clutch switch. It is now just two blocks. Perfect. Very, very compact. And I can have that pretty close to the clutch. I can even attach it to the clutch. And this way I know that this one is directly controlling the clutch makes it sure that you don't have all sorts of logic lines going everywhere. So now I can have this output go to the clutch and it's very easy to remember which one goes where because that's how I named them. And this one, signal from the clutch toggle. Where is my clutch toggle? There it is. Click it and you're done. That is what a microcontroller can do. Now let's spawn it in. Of course, it is the fuel enabled mode, so we're going to have to pick this thing up. And we can drag it up to the fuel port eventually. Come on. Fuel ports are still so finicky. There we go. Yeah, we got enough fuel. Now we can start up the ship. RPMs are good. Switch the clutch on and off, and we're going. That's a microcontroller. It is really not as scary as you... <laughs> forgot to... <laughs> forgot to remove the connector there. It is really not as scary as it seems to be. It is just a way to make sure that the logic doesn't clutter up your ship. And trust me, it can and it will. So again, they're not that hard. You can make very, very complex ways of building this stuff. Um, I recommend you start out easy and you just progress and build more and more complex stuff. Go at it that way and at least for me, that's the easiest way to learn. Have any questions about it? Uh, let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to help you any way I can. Although I am too still learning about microcontrollers and how to build them. And if you have a tutorial request, put it down below in the comments. Be sure to check out the list in the description first because I have a playlist with all the tutorials that I've created so far and maybe you can find your answer there. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you can build your own microcontrollers or at least get a start at it. And um, may it not clutter up your ship. Good luck.